saw Assassination Nation at the TIFF Festival in Toronto. And I am very surprised by just how good this movie was. It's directed by Sam Levinson, who also wrote this film. It definitely belongs in the category of those films like Unfriended or The Den, horror films about social platforms and online media on one side. And on the other side, it follows the same vein of movies like Tragedy Girls or Jawbreaker, that bubblegum horror type of te teen drama, teen comedy premise. But where the Assassination Nation is completely different is that even though it starts off as this teen type of high school movie, it goes into very, very dark territories and into very, very dark commentary. It reaches like levels of movies like I Spit on Your Grave or Raw when it comes to its darkness and by how seriously it tackles its controversial topics that include bullying and rape and oppression and manipulation and aspects you really don't find in your typical teenage films. The general premise is we follow the lives of four high school teenagers, especially the life of a girl called Lily, played by Odessa Young. What happens is that they live in this little town and each day important people of this town, like let's say the mayor or a principal or a teacher, get their information hacked and leaked online, causing a lot of stress in the entire community until the whole entire town has lost its mind entirely. I think I was responding to you know, a very specific fear, um, and that was raising a child in a world that I felt was outwardly celebrating violence and mob rule and aggression, um, and that was, uh, and, and, that, and that scared the shit out of me, and this script just poured out of me. And because what we wanted was to create a world that in some way felt like it, it mirrored the kind of emotional volatility of the internet. And you may find it shocking, you may find it violent, you may find it absurd, funny, heartbreaking. Um, strange thing is, I wrote it initially kind of as a satire, and then by the time I locked the picture, it was kind of close to reality. Um, <laughs> And, uh, but at the end of the day, it's a love story. It's a love story between these four girls who have each other's back till the very fucking end. What Assassination Nation does a lot different than other films is the way it definitely tells its story. Where movies like Unfriended have social media networks that look very fake, they seem very real. The, if the Facebook looks real, the Twitter looks real, the Instagram looks real. Furthermore, the way the kids talk in this movie seems also very genuine and authentic. This is the way that you'd imagine your typical teenage girls and your typical teenage boys to talk and to think. Their thoughts are very poetic. They're not as juvenile and childish as most movies make them out to be. You can really feel these kids and especially their despair and their anguish in which they are put on put in what the movie also does incredibly well is its cinematography and the way it is generally shot i have never seen so many perfect flawless one takes fly by my eyes in a mere 90 minutes the film does have unique camera tactics that really catch you off guard sometimes. Especially with all these editing tactics you don't expect at all, like at any moment of the movie. And they all like come snatching in like this crazy, screwed up Snapchat story. That's where the total rewatchability like, factor of course in comes in. You never know what is gonna happen. Even at a second view. This is a movie with a very bold message. It tries to convey that whoever you are and wherever you are, people are always expecting you to be someone. 
whether you are a big mayor, whether you are a teenager, whether you are a teacher, or anything at all. Everyone you know always has different expectations of who you are supposed to be and how they see you in their head and what they expect of you. So when a bunch of secrets from some hacks just pop out of nowhere, all of a sudden someone is bound to be shocked or bound to be upset because you are not fulfilling the expectations they have in their head of what kind of a person you are supposed to be. And this is where the film shines. It uses social media to show that everybody has something to hide. And if they aren't fulfilling the role they are supposed to play, they end up being outcast. Or killed for that matter. You really don't want to miss it. It'll be out on the 21st of September. So check it out. Hey guys, as you probably noticed, I am already on my big ass journey and this video was from the beautiful city of Las Vegas where it is very nice and windy though. Um, I have been uh, having some technical issues with the computer and it took a while for me to get the editing going but now it seems I have everything under control hope you enjoyed this video there will be a bunch of movie void episodes on on this journey we've been in London we talked to Tommy and Greg again there's a great story from there then we were also shortly at the TIFF and then we had some spectacular encounters in Vegas here already so I also met Alexandria Vaughn like there is so much fascinating crazy content coming at you guys like in the next couple of days so it's gonna be real fun so you can look forward to an I Hate Sundays episode from LA tomorrow enjoy